Here is how US football went from one of the most exciting national teams to an episode of the Kardashians. As some of you might remember, a huge scandal unfolded in the US camp during the Qatar World Cup between Gio Reyna and manager Greg Berhalter. Reyna, one of the most exciting young American talents, was sparsely used for the World Cup campaign, as manager Berhalter did not consider him fully fit and prepared for such a momentous occasion. To put things into context, Reyna missed a combined 50 days due to muscular issues from July 4th up to the start of the Qatar tournament. Immediately after the exit of the USMNT at the hands of the Netherlands, an inquiry was opened into Berhalter, but the subject was not represented by his sporting performances as national team manager, but rather his behavior in his personal life. The case was quickly analyzed and dissected by journalists and Twitter sleuths, and it was revealed that the incident in question happened between Berhalter and his future wife during their college years. The Berhalters both attended university together and played football, with Greg going to play on in Europe and later joined the behind-the-scenes setup of the US Federation. The incident in question happened in 1991 when the couple had a drunken altercation outside the bar and Greg pushed and kicked his future wife. Now athletes abusing their partners is nothing new, but what made this case truly interesting is the outlet that made the Federation aware of this incident. The person who leaked this incident is none other than Daniel Egan, the roommate of the future Miss Rosalind Burhalter in their college years. And if the name doesn't ring any bells, let me call her by her current name, Daniel Reyna. Yes, you figured it out, she is none other than Gio Reyna's mom. As you might imagine, a full investigation was opened and it was concluded in March with a full report available online. Now with such allegations, you'd imagine that Burhalter's career would effectively be over. However, the reverse of this result has just happened. The two families that were analyzed are the Burhalters and the Reynas, who at one point were so close that the men played the role of best man at each other's weddings. The Burhalters came out immediately after the investigation opened and cooperated with the US Federation, with a report stating that the incident did indeed happen. The aftermath is indeed surprising in a world where domestic abuse usually gets brushed off. Not only did Greg report himself to the faculty, his coaching staff, and told his parents, he sought professional counseling and did volunteer work at the women's prison and ceased all contact with his partner Rosalind. They reconnected several months later at Rosalind's behest and as their long marriage demonstrates, they resolved the incident amongst each other and as stated by them, they've not had any instances of this type of behavior since. Whilst I despise domestic violence and anyone who perpetrates it, I have to say that this case is one of the very few where I truly believe in a full reconciliation. The Reyna family, who forced the Burhalters, their old friends, to publicly relive a very traumatic incident that had long been resolved, thought they had won through their move. Truth is, they could have not suffered more from it. Their modus operandi was basically to send a message to any future USMNT and club officials who had any impact on Gio's future and career. What the investigation brought to light is that this behavior is far from new with instances as far back as 2018 becoming known. Ever since Gio was as little as 15, his parents tried to use their name and power to influence his career. His father, Claudio Reyna, a former footballer who was even more successful than Burhalter, used his contacts to complain about everything from referees at youth games Gio took part in to coaches and managers not playing or helping his son enough. In one of the worst cases of helicopter entitled Karen Parents I have ever seen, Droves of emails, texts and calls have been uncovered where the Reynas blew every little complaint of their son out of proportion. US officials were contacted about their son not flying business class, his accommodation, his breakfast or his training regimen. At the World Cup, this behavior hit a boiling point, when Burhalter told Gio that he would not be playing a starring role due to his fitness issues, which I'm sure would hurt any player, but there's nothing new in the world of football. The Reynas, upon getting wind of this, refused to sit and travel with the rest of the friends and family group organized by the US Federation, with Danielle causing a scene which would make any white lady yelling I wish to speak to the manager proud. Sources are also reporting that veiled threats about leaking information of the assault were made even back then. Since then, Greg Berhalter has been cleared and deemed fit to occupy any position he would wish to interview for in the US setup. As for the Reynas, Claudio has since been removed from Austin FC's website where he used to be listed as a technical director. There are few things sadder in life than a 20-year-old man seeing his career shepherded by his privileged overbearing parents. 
One can only imagine what someone like Anthony, who grew up in the roughest conditions imaginable, would think after seeing their behavior.